Challenge. Welcome back to another Dur and Rahime Challenge. Well, Dur's not here, but Rahime Challenge unboxing video. And today I will be unboxing a couple of things so it'll look a bit familiar. I am in my parents' house where I am unboxing. Um, and we're just, ow, just pinched myself on the tripod. Uh, not such a great feeling. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is unboxing random stuff from Pokemon cards to plush and long slide and some other stuff so let's go ahead and get started here um we've got a different assortment of items some of this i bought some of this stir bought and he wants me to unbox it so i'll go ahead get everything open show you and then we'll pick it up and do the cards that way we don't have to worry about being camera quality and stuff like that so here i've got two mini portfolios I imagine that these were purchased off of PokemonsCompany.com website, and they do have these at Target and different retailers, but in here we've got a Cinderance, and we'll definitely be able to see these up close soon, but we've also got a Externius, and then two booster packs, one in each package, one with a Grimmsnarl, and one with a Toxic Chrissy um, G-Max form. Next, we have a Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze Build and Battle Kit. Um, inside, it has a 23 card evolution pack, including one of four unique foil promo cards, four TC booster packs for the Darkness Ablaze series, and a co-card for the online portion of this. And then we also have a little tri-pack with a Flareon, which is a really super cute Pokemon. Um, I didn't pick this out, he did, so I guess he wanted me to look at this and see what's going on with Flareon. Um, considering he loves Vaporeon, I think that's a design for me, but I'm not 100% sure. But we've got Externius, we've got Charizard, and another Grimmsnarl, and along with the token of Manaphy. And that light shift is amazing. Next up is the last half of those cards that I got from Etsy from a seller, and they're just wrapped in saran wrap. Um, I guess the, the trash is going to go on my floor today. Here, let's see if I can use this as a trash bag, since that'll be unboxed anyway. And... That way I have a trash bag. And I don't have to use my bed or my floor. Amazing. All right. And they're just wrapped in this with tape, apparently. Um, but we'll go ahead and get these open and then we'll start taking a look. Hopefully I can do this pretty fast so it's not that boring. Um, but I do want to get through all of them because they have been sitting a bit. I know that Dur has been unboxing the many, 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 many cards that we've purchased over the last couple months. Um, so. I think this is just a good way for him to get some relief from that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I opened it from the wrong side. Of course. Go ahead and open this darkness ablaze kit. Make sure there's nothing I have to have two hands for. Where is this looking to at? Oh, it's a little slip. Okay. Cool. So this is just a little slip that slides off. And I went ahead and did that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open everything um, just so that I don't have to worry about it. Here are the four booster packs that are in that pack. Let's go ahead and open everything up and just put it all on a stack and we'll go through all of them so we can showcase them. That way we don't have to worry about too much about it.
Oh, by the way, on the back of this, it does have externius on it, and it says, The Velvet Night Glows, Burns, and Blazes, astounding bright as the legendary Pokemon Externius arrives as Pokemon uh, V alongside Chintuscorp V, Mew V, Galarian Slowbro V, and many others. You'll also find towering Pokemon V, Max, and their Gigantamax forms. Sucks there's Charizard, Grimmsnarl, Butterfree, and much more in this A expansion pack. There are many, 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 many expansion packs for Pokemon cards. It's ridiculous. But I'll go ahead and get this pulled out. We'll get this code so that we don't exploit it. And I'll go ahead and put that on there even though we know it's Flareon. It's not really a guess, but we'll go ahead and put it on there. All right. Now I'm gonna try to keep these kind of hidden. Yep, I opened it the wrong way. Oh well. Um, and take out these coats online stuff too. I'll keep this just in case Dara wants to see it or something, but I don't think it's really something you need. But I do know that people do buy booster packs that are empty. I'm not sure why. I know it's for display purposes, I think. But. No worries. So, these stacks are going to be from the booster packs. That's going to be from the one that we got from the seller. And then... So everybody, while we're waiting for me to open all these, what is your favorite Pokemon or Pokemon line? Do you have a favorite type you like to use? Do you have a favorite team that you like to use? And why is that your favorite team or type? And also, which is your favorite Pokemon game? Are you new to the series or what was your game that you started with? I started probably avidly playing somewhere around Diamond and Pearl. I have owned all of them um, at one point or another, except for Platinum and the two series for Black and White. Um, but my favorite team, I started to kind of broaden out with Sword and Shield. I figured. Well, I gotta work with the Pokemon they gave me, and even though I didn't necessarily like the new Galar Pokemon when they first came out, I think they definitely have grown on me. Um, my favorite Galar Pokemon is probably either Galarian Raffidash or Yamper. And my favorite starter is actually Scorch, and my close favorite next to that is Rillaboom. <sighs> um... I haven't had a lot of experience with Sobble or Inteleon, so that's probably where that stems from. I know it's Dura's favorite. As far as my favorite Pokemon, I have to say I've got a couple of favorites out of the 900 or so Pokemon that are out. Um, definitely Evolution line. As far as the favorite Evolutions out of that line, I would have to say it's either Ice uh, Gliss, or I'm sorry, haha, <laughs> Leafeon which is totally not what I was trying to say before, or um, Umbreon or Espeon. And I distinguishly remember playing, like, Pokemon Gallop Darkness and um, Coliseum. So those are also some really favorable memories that I've had. Um, and then... Next, I like the horses and the dogs for the most part. I can't really get behind Trubish, even though he really is useful. But let's go ahead and get started with unboxing these cards. So we'll start off with the different stuff. So in this box, it's just like a nice little deck box. 
that you can keep. Um, it's got like a slip cover, so I'll probably put some of these cards back in here just so they're not all floating around on the bed. And this is just like a little building tips for a deck. You can read that if you want. There's the uh, token, Manaphy. And I'll go ahead and remove this. That way we don't have to worry about that as much. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And what I do is basically I put them all on a pile and then I sort them out later by type and then I'll go by like evolution line and stuff like that. So next up we have like these little flip folders. So this has the starters on it. Looks like Cinderance is the main feature on that, but it's basically got just like 60 little flip things that you can put in there. It's a really nice little thing to put like extra cards in or carry your cards around if you don't have anywhere to put it. And then you've got Sternius and a G-Match Charizard on the back of it. So not a lot going on there, but first we'll start off with this beautiful Hollow Flareon. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. We've got quite a few evolution stars, because like I said, we do like them both. I'm not sure who exactly that was intended for, but I do know that it is adorably gorgeous. And then moving on, we'll start with this huge stack by that seller. So we've got Steeny, Scyther, 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 I knew that. We'll go ahead and put Bonsui on top of Steeny. And then we've got a Carablast. And I'll go ahead and stack these up. And they're just going to kind of go in a pile. They're going to slip and slide, but I promise they won't get creased. I know it looks horrible. I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of, like, definition. Caterpie. Swaddle. Sweetle. Pansage. Caterpie again, but a different art. I expect there's going to be a lot of duplicates in here. Skiddo, but I'm hoping to get some that I don't have so that way I can round out the evolutions. Paris. Snivy, Snivy. Shermus. Ting Growth. This is not ideal. Let's see if that works better. Carvine. Croaky. Thwacky. Blip bug. Fomantis. Looks like all of these are going to be grouped up by typing. Metapod. Kind of wish they were grouped up by like... Here, maybe we can keep them together so that we don't have to worry as much about it. We'll see. I'll put flare around with the fire types if they come up that way. Gibble. Rhyhorn. Hippotas. Swak. Machoke. Looks like this is an older one. 2016. I mean, I guess it was older. It was four years ago. Mankey. Sancher. Riolu. Metatite. Onyx. Throw. <sighs> Trapinch. Anorith. Sunfist. The regular one. Gilgar. Caputo. Graveler. The regular one. Kubone. Ammonite. Larvitar. Craballer. Baltoy. Not water whooper. Onyx again. Kind of like a snake this time. I mean, he is a rock snake, but that's beside the point. 
Drober. Halucha. Hoo hoo. Apom. Fletchling. Meow. Meow part two. And an Eevee. It's nice that these are kind of organized. Here's the other Eevee. Uh, I guess that's wrong. Fletchling, again. Sentry. Corvusquire. Which actually would go great with the ricketties I just got. Rufflet. Running like a chicken. Tie it no. Tranquil. Piggy Peck. Dudek er uh, Dudo. Porygon. Pedov. Dunsparce. Herdier. And under that we have Mancino. Pidgey. King is gone. Firo. Hoo hoo. Drifloom. Phantom. Swallow. Grumpig. Ghastly. Scorpy. Drowsy. Gates. Solus. Ghastly. Chins again. Dust claps. Coughing. Cosmog. Ekans. Sinistee. Yas Mask. Haunter. Nebby again. <laughs> Ekans. Dusclops. Esper. Skrillo. Ralts. And Esper again. That's actually very, very, fairly useful deck. We'll go ahead and put this over there. And we actually didn't get any fire types, so they must have been in the other half of the deck that we already unboxed. Hmm. So I'll save this for any fire types we're going to cross. I doubt these will be in order because these are booster packs, but we'll give it a shot. <sighs> Electric. Mr. Mime, again. Very popular. Not common. Very common. Grimer. Clink. Skating. Panpour. And it's a holographic. And he's cute. Oh my gosh. A scavenger. Energy. Lunatum. Staravia. Pupitar. Larvitar. Look at a shock little face. Grimer again. <laughs> Galarian Darumaka. Darumaka again. Darumaka. Sentry. Rowlet. Bagon. Dino. That's a Dino. I don't know why I said Bagon. Sorry guys. Crobat. Water energy. I'll go ahead and add the into the stack because that's about as random as we can get. Ursaring. Rose Tower. Semisir. Jigglypuff. Ducklet. Carablast. Another Galarian Nairamaka. I dropped it. But Lavatar. Larvesta. And he's a holographic too. Nice. A Grim Snarl with a G Max. Steel Energy, Toxapeak, Clang, Semisage, Galarian Meowth, and I think this is the ugliest in my opinion. I know there's different opinions. He's an awesome Steel type, but I just don't like him as Meowth. 
Surskit. If he was his own separate Pokemon, I wouldn't mind him too much. Magikarp. Mattitite. Mincellary. A Galarian Corsola. Looks so sad. Iskew. Holographic. Energy. Pelipper. Brawlersong. A Nugget for Pokemon Trainer. Another direct Glaring Dari I could probably join the one that's on the floor, but we'll pick it up later. Another Labrador, about the same art. A Ninkit. Love him. He's actually kind of fun. Bonsui. Snubble. A Cape of Toughness. Pretty sure that's just Leon's cape, but we're going to be done with it. It's a Pokemon card. Trainer card. Hydreigon. A Dark Type Energy. A Trainer Big Parasol card. A Shinodic. And Chairman Rose. And while there's a pause, I'll go ahead and pick up that Galarian Dari Maka they dropped on the ground. And we'll be going into this one. And it's upside down. Or maybe half of it's upside down. Mips. Oops. I am a gold. Alright, I've got a promo card for Dedekuai. A Pokemon Breeding Nurturing Pokemon Trainer card. Sonya Training card. At least they're on top. Hop Training card. King is gone. Vanillite. Vanillite again. Vanillite again. What the heck? Vanillish. Vanillish again. Vanilla Lux. Oh, is this the Builder Pack? This might be the Builder Pack. That might be why there's another Builder Pack. There's a Bird Keeper. Quick ball. Professor's research. That's Sonya's grandmother. Pokey kid. Those things are annoying. Rowlet. Dartrix. So now I have all three of those. A ducklet. Another ducklet. A ducklet. A swana. A swana. A hippotas. Sentry. I think I have that one again. Larvesta. I know I have that one. More lily. Toxel. Have that one as well. Combustion and they're hollow. And then we got Milotic, which I do have, but this is a beautiful hollow. Fire energy. Pupitar. Maybe I can go with one of those Larvitars. Corvusquire. Hiding energy. Do you know not what that means, but that's okay. Teddy Ursa to go with that Ursa ring. Rickety. Different art style at least. Torchic. Trap inch. Jigglypuff. The problem is I'm not hurting them, guys. I know it looks rough. Uh, similar art style for my low tick, except this one is a different holo. Gothalil. Psychic energy type. Oh, um, another Pokemon Breeder Nurturing Poke card. Kabushkin. Staravia again. Oh, that's what happened. I flipped aside. I think I put a pack on top of the pack. Pairs. Larvitar. Again. I got a lot of duplicates. Golet. Feebas. Pure loin. Bird loin. Squovit. And this is a hollow. Then I've got a super rare shiny hollow rosy guy. I don't know if that's the best one I have, but hey. Steel energy type. Lunatown again. Struggle gloves. Combustion again. Tauros. Diglett, Squirrel, Shelmet, Panpour, a Billowing Smoke Trainer Card, and it's hollow. Interesting. A Houndoom, and he's beautiful. Oh my god, this will probably be my favorite card ever. A Water Energy, a Turbo Patch, and a Vibrava. And I got Therita. And that's it for the Pokemon card unboxing. Um, bonus item, I guess we can go ahead and do, is this Poke card sleeves we got from Pokemon Center. It's just pixelated Eevees and evolutions. It's really cute, really pretty, and I'm probably going to use them. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more information like this, 
you can subscribe if you haven't already. We also have some other content on the channel that you can check out in the meantime. And if you want to see more videos, comment down below. Alright, and thank you all for watching. See you in a second. Bye!